Okay, boys, make sure you got them audio included. Knock, knock! Hammer guy coming through! Steven, shh, cutscenes. <laughs> you know what, Steven? Maybe I like having a sledgehammer out when I'm about to rob someone. Oh, yeah, she's old. I forgot about that. Any luck with the newcomers yet? They convinced to accept our help? Good. I knew I could count on you. I've been looking into where we can mass produce the inoculation. Some of the obvious choices are messy, but if you just sit back and ask yourself, who could have manufactured a lot of specially formulated liquid in sterile packaging, it becomes obvious. Exactly. Great minds, huh? The local plant even has all the equipment to make experimental beverages. Perfect for us hacking in the inoculation. The current occupants were giving me some trouble, though. I could use your help on this one. Meet you there? I know you guys don't know the game. Oh boy, an invite! To... <laughs> I'll probably break you. Break your game. <laughs> yeah, probably. We've been to this new coal power plant. Or new coal plant. Okay, crack some fingers. Are you ready to rock? Andy, you're not hyping me up. What? I asked if you were ready to rock. Mm, I feel like rolling right now, actually. Like you're rolly, rolly, rolly with a dabawanch. Sure. Shut up, meat. I'm gonna travel to this person's camp and walk there. But I need. It's so fast, yeah. Which this? Freaking, I had the overlay over my quest objectives. Can I even know what the hell we're doing? Okay, so we're we going to the power plant. Then coal plant, but yeah. Do you guys have it unlocked? Yep, we're already here. Tryards. I mean, I have it unlocked. Andy doesn't. That <laughs> lame. Katie, this person's camp put me underground for a second. Oh. I'm doing 500 damage with this crossbow. Holy crap. I needed to kill a feral ghoul, so. I killed one before anything happened. Does anyone have any bubble gum in their inventory? That's my uh, last bazooka daily. Bazooka bubble gum? Any bubble gum. Too good work though. Bubble gum, bubble gum in a dish. How many Stevens do you wish? One, two, three, four. That's too many. Uh, uh, nope, don't got no bubble gum. How about you, Andy? I have a single piece. Can I have it? Can I have it? Unless you're saving for a rainy day. Yay, I'm over to you. Found a colonist. 
they have anything special yeah. to say or just hello? Oh, uh, they give you stuff on your map, I think. Take a look. Never know what you might find. Hey, to find a place to settle down for the rest of the day. Yeah, they give you a place on your map. I can't talk to him. The Raiders don't have a chance. Just a random interact button. Yeah, I just kept pressing it. Okay. Gotta keep a tab on Raider Warehouse. Andy, you have the gun? You have the gun? Yep. Ah, don't like the plug. Even just a mist makes it harder to see. Sweet. Thank you. Yeah. If we could expand our area, can I kill him? Yeah. I don't think you're allowed to. Yay, John! Hey. Wait, wait! You just killed him. Just killed him. <laughs> 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 you my authority, oh. Stephen. <laughs> <laughs> you forgot I'm a god, god in this god. game. A little bit. He took out his map right. and I was like, oh, maybe I'll be able to like actually like do the whatever Andy was doing. And then he was like, hey, yo, <laughs> hey, same old dialogue. I'm like, alright, you dead. <laughs> oh, how did I get stuck in the car? <gasps> oh, this this? Oh, this oh, this gives you maps as well. Look at this. Oh, wait, I can do this. <laughs> oh, no. <Yay>. Jail. <laughs> Oh boy. Yeah, I don't like maps. Maps are gay. No. Guy dang, Hi. Steven, what'd you do? Ow! <laughs> that fire was Andy. No, it was Steven. <laughs> Yay, oh, explosions. We're not gonna be able to enter together, guys. <laughs> Y'all fucks are on your own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Andy, you joined me. I know. Enough. Yep, fire everything up, try not to get killed. Oh, that looks like it could kill me. What? Oh, is this defensive in she's here? fighting with us, that's funny. Oh, there are ghouls here. Oh. Why is he 52? Yeah, it's a 62. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> I am nerd rage, you can't hurt me. I'm a nerd. <laughs> you sure are, buddy. You sure are. They are actually having a tough time. I'm hurting me. No, a 62 hit me and it didn't oh do anything. Freaking! Huh. It didn't pop up, Steven, and then it swapped the buttons on me at the last second. <laughs> you it made me again. join you again. Yes. Wow. I hate this thing. I hate the loading screen. Just let me swap to my own damn thing. That's added your blood sample as an ingredient. I guess that technically makes you Nuka Cola's newest flavor. Uh, I don't want to do that. Ooh. Getting biometrically scanned. <laughs> Our latest market survey reports that healthy, on-the-go snacking is up 8% across all market sectors. 
and is expected to propel demand across the next several fiscal years. Our first experiments are going to look at reviving celery-flavored sparkling beverages. It's a beverage that has its origins in the 1860s and has a built-in recognition with demographics that crave outsider status. We think we can balance artificial flavors, package design, and marketing to convince people it has healthy benefits. We're working with legal to figure out the limits of what we can claim. But right now, we're leaving a classic digestive beverage for the new generation. A green tonic water from America's greatest era. Yay, I'm going to be the new flavor of Nuka Cola. Amazing. Well, you legit started talking about when my hollow tape ended. <laughs> hey, you you found a hollow tape? Yeah, and it was a long one. Look both ways. Look, look. Hello. Oh, you gave me a disease. Get out of here. Steven, you are like incredibly low right now. Incredibly low. Oh, health? Yeah, health I want to be that low. That's low. a little too low, don't you think? Nah. Serendipity will save me. Oh, whatever. Oh, I found a little. star legendary. Ooh. Hopefully, I can find one. Those are some shit stats, mate. I tried to Valid threat eliminated. Issuing combat commendation. What, what the hell is she talking? Jam random things together. Start jamming thingies into thingies. Jeez. Oh, oh no, I died. I told you, Steven. Oh, it didn't revive me. Thing, I was looking at a thing and it was just. It was funny, so I wanted to read it, but ghouls came out of nowhere and started hitting me, and I couldn't do anything about it because ghouls started hitting me. If I was able to shoot them, I would have died. Oh! I got the trigger for the mysterious stranger saving me, but he never saved me. That's not fair. <laughs> he's like, I, he's I'm like, about to let you die now. He's like, no, yeah, it's I like, feel like it. Uh, God. Maybe he's just tired of saving you, Steven. <laughs> he hasn't even saved you that much. <laughs> yeah. No! Yeah. Okay, now that I have a thing, a time to, um, check this, I want to read this to you. <laughs> I did the 8 plus luck check thing. To fix the thing. Oh, uh, let's see, where is it? You start jamming thingies into thingies. One of the thingies doesn't really fit, but hey, you got a good feeling about it. All of a sudden, the reactor jolts to life. <laughs> mm. I just start jamming thingies into thingies, and it works. Was that luck? Yeah, yeah, that was luck. I was like, oh, I could engineer a workaround, it said. And I'm like, well, I could just jam thingies into thingies. And it worked. Can you believe this? Okay, I'm gonna get. Yeah, I think I might need to get some rad away right now. <laughs> you think?
Oh, I found a fat man. Ambushed, like every 20 seconds. Oh, hello there. You're actually gonna be a little tough cookie to fight, aren't you? What? Retrieve my belongings? Where are they? Right there. Okay, they did absolutely nothing. I haven't seen a legendary enemy in here yet. Weird. Oh, that is dope. That's it, too. That's it. Freedom from the plane in a bottle. While you're handing those out, I'll start organizing things here and get a plan in place to get more to whomever needs them. Meet me back in Sutton when you're done. Okay, um... Uh, can I keep on going? What do you mean? I, I got the cure, and now it wants me to deliver it to the two doctors. Cool. What do you mean keeping going? Do that to get there. Oh yeah. Or are you guys not? Did you guys get the cure? I haven't gotten. No, I, I mean, I guess if you. I guess probably if you want, probably you can do it because we're probably gonna have to do more talking. <laughs> I gotta name this Coca Cola. My blood is in it. My blood's in it. Okay, that is a lot of money. I need to put in a perk real quick. here take the damage <laughs> hey Andy how are you and your level I'm gonna do you in a bit are you still here Andy I never heard you leave. Yeah, I'm still here. Okay. Oh, sounds like a nuke's coming. I wish the I Xbox see. party overlay like popped up during the stream so you'd be able to see who's actually speaking. Attention citizens. Nuclear strike. Oh, who's getting the nuke? Sucks for them. Please exit the area at your earliest convenience. I like the bottom right corner. Thank you for your yep. Can people stop yeah. doing that? Like, yeah. fucking nuke somewhere nah, realistic. Nah, that's where the, uh, the end game stuff is. Like the, um, the Scorch Beast boss. Yes. Take a nuke of cola, my like, blood is in it. Like, can I not nuke Andy's base? Like, please? No, actually, the top left corner is a safe area. That pretty gay. Guys, what did you name the Nuka Cola? I called it Nuka Cola Scorched. I did vaccinated. <laughs> I did. My blood is in it. <laughs> yeah, I know you did. 
<laughs> I have a flavor now. It's amazing. You feel kind of you feel special, Steven. Oh, this is cool. Yep. You're taking your sweet time with that inoculation. This is the inoculation you promised. Bottles of nuka. You best start talking, seven six. Okay, where is the exit? Oh, this one out here. <laughs> Ain't that a line? All right. If you're serious. So the bottom right corner are, are like end game stuff. Looks like you're yeah, you it's like the yeah, See you like truly end game. Yeah. Okay, I'm traveling the foundation. Okay. I'm getting out of the plants. What? I'm leaving the Nuka Coal you plant. You can just fast travel while you're in it. Oh, I'm so used to it saying you can't fast travel while you're in the middle of something. While you're in something. Okay. What are you doing about the crater, Martin? Tra fast travel to me so it's free. So then Andy can travel to you to go to the crater for free. I travel to Andy to go to the foundation for free. Ah. Uh. On my way. On my way to Martin. Okay. Uh, do you already uh, fast travel then? I'm loading, so yeah. Loading, so yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'll head over to Andy then. <laughs> Wrong genre. Wrong series. That's him, Steven. Oh, I hear the nuke. I see the nuke. Ooh, that's cool. I'm too far away. I really think where I am though, I should be able to hear it. I know it's like a couple miles, like five miles away maybe or something You should be able to feel like it that. still. Yeah, I should be, I should. It's not hard. You can see it from the foundation. Puke. So like, I don't know. Yeah. Yo, is this quest completed, but where the hell is my XP and rewards? You don't get anything for death from a death room above. But you should, though. I survived it now! <laughs> you should. Andy, I stayed away from harm. That should be a reward enough. You should get XP for standing in the center of it. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking balls to the walls. I would do it, and I would survive, because serendipity would save me. I have a chance to negate it damage didn't last time. altogether. It didn't, it didn't last time because I was stuck in a thing. I feel like a mutation wouldn't be able to save her as <laughs> you're still getting it with so much freaking TNT. We're ready to hand out the inoculation as soon as it's here. What's this? Nuka Cola? Nice looking label, I guess. What gives? Well, I guess I should be impressed if you went to all the trouble. Nuka Cola, my blood is in it, it's removed. I right. still don't know what to think of you, Vault Dweller. But, well, saving us from your plague is a good start. You watch out Andy, have you teleported to me yet? There. Not yet. Because I'm sitting here so you can fast travel freely. For free. And I'd like to get over to Martin. So I can go do that part of the mission too. Mm 
Mm Kip down here. Nice. Actually, I guess, Martin, can you teleport back to me so I can teleport over there to Andy? If Andy's not yeah, going to be sorry, done with this thing. Yeah, sorry, this loading speed is taking forever. I don't know why. There we go. Hold on, I can teleport now. Oh, okay. Oh. I'll just wait a just second, because then I was going to teleport to the Overseer. That's the wait, next thing to do. Yeah. At the crater. After you're done talking to them. To talk oh, to them. right, the crater. I'm comfort camping, you should have me. Okay, Steven, you can fast travel. Yay. Tell me when you hit the loading screen. Where is it again? Oh, yeah, it's right there. Alright, I'm loading. Go ahead. Cool. Thanks for sitting there so we can get free travel. Where's this window? Okay. If I enter the, like, home of the Overseer, will you still be able to teleport to me? I believe so, yeah. Hello, old ma'am. Nice to see you again. Do they have the inoculation? <laughs> <sighs> what a relief, huh? We'll get shipments up and running in case that first batch wasn't enough. Delivered. Look, I know you're doing more than your fair share of the work. Did you guys extort no, them for money? Didn't notice. No, I just said, here you go. Here you go. Thank you. Now that one crisis is over, it's time we start working on what that mystery Andy? in the mountains. For who? The foundation? The, for both of them. Did you extort them for money or did you... Well, yes. I haven't done this one yet, but... I'm extorting you, you for the in the crater. A few other I gave it to the <laughs> other guys. The trek I just said, here you go to both of them. We keep about. It's a vault. Vault 79. Sealed tight, with no obvious way in. The rumor mill about what's inside is running wild. I gave them the Coca-Cola, my blood is in it. We don't have a way in. But Should I start widespread producing it. That'd be fun. Inside. Every student Come down, take two. Small Tech University has a story about the restricted wing, where all the higher-ups would have their meetings. And not just stuffy professors. Yeah, I teleported to you, man. It worked. Systems. 
I mean sit downs with government officials, the military. Over 25 years in the making for me, but it's time to finally see what it's hiding. Meet you there. Ooh, okay. Oh shoot! Oh, it's, oh, I wish I got a better name then. I'll have to see what you say. What it is. Oh, that's a pretty good lake, holy shit. I gotta thank you. Oh! Okay, wait. Does someone say purple fluids? No, but I've been dreaming it. <laughs> it's normal to dream about the purple <laughs> fluids. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I was taking a shower and I almost oh, slipped no. and fell on my head. Did you take a shit in the shower? I wish I would do that in the ocean. <laughs> that it wasn't an efficient shower. <laughs> I just poop in the ocean because that's where all the fishes poop. Yeah. And all the whales pee. And all the foods being. Uh, 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 I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> All the fluid is purple, like my semen. <laughs> Hold up. Hold up. What? Ooh, you're streaming, and my audio's included. Hello. I noticed we can craft the Nuka Cola we just made now. Mm-hmm, which is why I got a little upset, because I chose the freak- I chose, like, the Scorch, which sounds pretty cool, but, like, damn it, I don't want it to make my own blood. Yeah, you can then sell it as your blood's in it. I have like too many legendary apparel, but too many I mean two. <laughs> you should get, if you don't want them, sell them. That's what I'm doing. Going to a railroad station right now. Oh yeah, we never did that, Andy. I forgot you said <laughs> after this should we, we should go to the legendary store, but we never did that. It's really half to right now. I mean, if you guys want to, we can. Oh yeah, you could have oh, yeah, yeah. this. Because yeah. I, I don't have any more to give. You. Like, Do all railroad stations have the legendary exchange thing? Nope, only the one. Um, in the dark right, black fire. area. At the edge of the black area, the rusty pick. I placed a marker next to it. You guys want to hear a story? Yes. This is a story of how uh, I. Let me think of one real quick, wait. Let me think of a good story to tell. 
Um, tell, tell the story of when you shit the bed. When I shit the bed? <laughs> I was two years old. Actually, no. Oh, there is a good story, though. <laughs> that was um, two minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> Today, I would. <laughs> um, no, but... I have a lot of pee the bed stories. Oh, you want to know the story of how I uh, shit in class? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I was like 10 years old, like or like, years. no, I was like 7. No, I was like seven. no or less. I was in kindergarten. <laughs> Actually, I, I ain't gonna joke, Wait, I age. did that in kindergarten. Yeah, it was, ta yeah, the, the funny thing is, it was Taco Tuesday, and they brought tacos, oh, and I just went and, and I pooped myself. <laughs> okay, are you guys gonna start the overseer's <laughs> overseer? Overseen? Probably, but Probably there's a guy in the overseer's house, Dave and Port, that gives us a quest to do. Yeah, I already talked to him. Yeah, I'm listening to him right now. Oh wait, oh damn it, I don't make it move. Okay, this is the story yeah. on how... I almost got arrested. Alright, we got that yesterday. <laughs> this, no, this is a different one. Just the ghetto version. <laughs> this is the rated R version. Um, so it's around, uh, I like to say, January. We're still in school and it's Friday. But my school is like a Catholic school, and they're in this Catholic school, the, there are these groups. We call them Pastoral. I'm in one of the groups. And they invited my group to go out to like this field trip to meet other pastoral from other schools from all around the country. Now, how I just recently joined the pastoral, me and my now girlfriend, I didn't know like anyone that was in the group, I only my now girlfriend. And I asked her if she was going to go, because if she was going to go, then at least I'll have somebody to talk to, so I'll go. And she was like, oh, I don't think so. So we didn't end up going, but they did. <clears throat> so later that day, at like around six, the people from the pastoral come back, and there are two guys, no three people, and it's Sonic and Tails, those same guys, and no. another guy. Let's call him. Let's call him Luigi. So. They send a message to like my whole entire group. Not my whole entire group, but just like ten people. Like the ten people they just like the ten people like a ten people group of me, my now girlfriend, them, some other girls, and some other guys. <clears throat> and they say, Hey, we're gonna do a quick party at this guy's ranch. You guys, um, are you guys coming? So I have nothing to do that day, so I just, so I just like accept it. I'm like, yeah, I'll go. So later on, we get there, and how it was like a last minute thing. There's legit nobody. It's the three guys who made the party. Me, my now girlfriend, and this other guy that is not from our school or anywhere. So they're just drinking. Them. I'm just there, just sitting with my girlfriend, my now girlfriend, and uh, we're just talking, and we're kind of bored. So Sonic says, "Okay, screw this. Do you guys want to go to another party? Because at that same day, somebody from our school made another party, and they invited other people from other schools. We don't do that much because, like, we don't like other people." And like, we think it's funner when it's just like, people we're close to. So we're like, yeah, let's just go to the club party. So we're going, we're in the van. And because this, the new guy, the guy that is from a different school and we don't know, he has his van. So we all get in his van and he takes us there. We're driving, he's driving all crazy. 
and we're all like freaking out. We ended up getting to the party. This party, there was like a good 30 people there. People from my school, people from other schools. I don't recognize almost nobody. And it was pretty boring because like nobody was active. They're just all in like their separate groups, just talking. Nobody was dancing, nobody was doing anything. So we get there and we try like pumping up the spirit. Like we just started dancing out of nowhere. But then somebody from our school we see is like dead. Not dead, but like almost dying <laughs> there because she drank like, too much. Shit. <laughs> Wait, what happened? My controller died. I missed like the um, last sentence. Uh, yeah. uh, one of our one of our friends that goes to our same school that was at that party is like dead. She drank too much and she was just. <laughs> Wait, really? Yeah, no, she I drank. Just too much. Fucking word it, really. She drank way too much and she was just there, she like unconscious. Oh, passed okay. out. <laughs> you said dead. My on. one friend. Yeah. <laughs> She's gone. <laughs> <laughs> my one friend, um, she was crying because she had to take care of her, so she has no choice but to call her mom, and she's there like bawling out in tears. So we're right there with them, waiting till her mom comes. But meanwhile, my Sonic and Dale's, they're somewhere else, and they're getting into a fight. But like they're like backing off so like they don't get into the fight but they're all mad and stuff. So they come to each one of us and they're like, okay, let's go. Um, we're leaving the party. He says like he says like we're leaving this party in like ten minutes, so get ready. So me and my girlfriend were about like we're getting ready, but then at that time they opened the taco stand inside the party. Like free tacos. So me and her are just like looking at each other like we have 10 minutes, let's go get as many tacos as we can, because we're all hungry. So we were there in line, we got tacos, we were just eating, because you can only get like two at a time. So we were just eating those tacos, and then we finish, and we see how we're not leaving yet, so we get in line again to get more. And as soon as, like, the point as we're going to get, like, the next order of tacos, they just like scream at us, they're like, no, we're leaving right now, right now, right now, because they're probably just like getting mad or gonna fight them. So we leave, we go to the van. The one girl that was crying because her friend was like almost dying, um, she ended up coming with us because they came with the other girl. And they were like pissed at her parents. So then we just stay like outside of the van for like another half an hour, and me and my girlfriend were just like, I got the other order of tacos right now. <laughs> so then we leave. And um, we're just driving normally. They want to stop and get um, alcohol. And the thing is, we're all underage. Um, only except for the one guy, I think. The one new guy. Like, he's only the one. So they want to drink, so they stop and they go to this one store to buy stuff. Because the magic though they don't want the variety, they they see you, they just give it to you. You can be any age. They just want to sell it. <laughs> so they go, they buy stuff, they come back in the van, we go and we drop the one girl that was crying off to her house. And then after this, everything goes crazy. So we're gonna drive back to the ranch and just hang out there. So we're going, and how the streets are empty because at this time it's like 12 or 11. Um, this this guy, they like dare him to drive all crazy, and he does. Like he going, he's going like zigzag on the road, and I'm losing my mind because I don't want to die today, <laughs> and like I'm holding on for dear life, and he does that all the way through, out to the ranch. Surprisingly. We did pass by like two cop cars, but they didn't do anything. Now we're at the ranch, and they're they just start drinking again. And then the one guy, the the guy that's not from our school, he tells us that he wants to get a girl from the other party that he saw. So they they're asking him like which one it is, so they can know her name, and like know if she has like a boyfriend or anything. So they get the details, and they're like, 
Yeah, you can you can try doing something. So we go back to the party. We're in the car, and uh, he's zigzagging, but like he's going normal, and then we're on the street, and it's only, there's no way to leave the street. And then we realize that today, on this street, at this night, there's like a police checkup. You know, they check like drivers that's going through the night, see if they've been drinking. And we're stuck in line, we can't go anywhere. We can't skip this. So we start freaking out. And these guys, all the guys in my group, they have like vapes. And they're like filling the car up with vape. Like the whole entire car is like, has smoke everywhere. So we're all freaking out. And we, we get in front of the cop. He says, roll down your windows. We pull them down and all the vape just comes out of the windows. <laughs> you guys yeah. look just hot box tits. Yeah, they, 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 yeah, they, I don't think they did it intentionally. They just like roll up the windows and they're like, it'll look cool. <laughs> so, that makes us look even worse. We're all underage. We drink, um, and they were drinking inside the car, except for the driver. I didn't see him drink anything. So that like made me feel uh, feel a little better. So we roll down the windows, the vape comes out. They all hand me the beer because I'm in the back with my girlfriend. So they, they hand me all the beer, so we put them down and hide it. And they take up the one guy that I was driving and they tell him, go to her and do the breathalyzer thing. And then he just looks at all of us, he's like, how old are you guys? And stupidly, everybody's just like the same age, you know? <laughs> Twelve. Now, <laughs> Twelve. Four, eight, Four and a half. <laughs> and they're like, have you guys, do you guys have more drinks except for the ones in the back? Because they somehow saw the ones that we hid. And we're like, no, 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 everything's cool, everything's cool. And then he asks us about the vase, and they're like, oh, they're, they're not weed or anything. And then, like, he goes to each one of us, shines, like, the flashlight in our eyes, and, like, tells us to ask us for our names, and we all give, like, fake names. But me, how I have, like, this accent when I'm speaking Spanish, like, sometimes people don't understand me. Like, they have to hear me two times. So every time he talks to me, like, I, I I have this accent, and he always has to ask me twice. And he asks me for, like, where I live. I tell him this, like, bullshit name. He's like, what, can you not speak, boy? Like, he starts screaming at me. And then my friend, he's like, I was legit, like, quaking there in my boots. I didn't know what to do. And my friends start defending me. They're like, oh, it's just he's not from around here. He's like, oh, where are you from? And I'm like, oh, United States. <laughs> So then, um, the guy comes back and somehow he passed the breathalyzer and he told us that he like he had a couple of drinks, and that's just crazy to us because we still don't know how he passed it. So they end up letting us go, and as soon as the cop like walks away and we can leave, my friends bit on, fuck the police on the radio and just like crank it all the way high. And then they just like book it. They go to hot speed and we all scream out the windows. And yeah, we were like celebrating after that. But yeah, if they would have caught him, if like he was caught like drinking, then we would all like be doing it. Yeah, you would have been doing like, yeah. yeah. And yeah. Oh, and the guy didn't end up getting the girl. <laughs> Of my knowledge, <laughs> we ended up going, yeah, and, and we were just there for like a whole hour of him just like sitting down, looking at her from like across the room for like a whole hour, and then he just like at the last ten minutes he went up to go talk to her, and she was like, "Oh, then we go into this place. Do you guys want to come?" And blah 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 blah. blah. Nothing happened. Then yeah, that's the story. That's a pretty you crazy know, story. Yeah. It is pretty crazy. Stepping into a little tiff between the engineers and the med staff is ready to blow. Um, I don't 
quite know how to respond to that. Getting back to it, there was a reactor leak. Kellerman, head engineer's apprentice, rushed in to fix it. Poor kid got a full dose of rads. That's not the worst of it. Dr. Loras, head of the medical team, refused to send in help. Quarantined the reactor area so nobody died trying to go in there. Head engineer Brass accused the doctor of murder. Then, a couple days later, people noticed that one of the doctor's assistants, Estella, was missing. Everyone thinks it's a revenge killing. An eye for an eye. No. There's no evidence, no weapon, not one speck of blood. I'm at a loss over this here. Need you to make sense of all this. Sorry I couldn't be of more help. I'll be here if you need me, Overseer. Oh my god, I hate these kind of missions. What mission? The Overseer, Overseen. Have you not talked to the... I to just the got to the security yet? chief. Oh. I just finished talking to him. Mm. Yes, Overseer? Not yet. No. Don't care what security says. Dr. Loris had no right to quarantine the reactor. Leaving Kellerman to die? Murder. That's all there is to it. I want justice, Overseer. No. Half this vault thinks he did the right thing. Yeah, when I first got Anything to the guy, I'm like, you're not citizen, the overseer is here. Prove to everyone that he's the bad guy so, in this yeah, vault. I was ready to help them out. If he goes quietly, all the better. Less chance of the staff getting up in arms. You're back. You're back. Not to blame for all this nonsense, not us. Ah, overseer. I'm so glad you've stepped into this little mess of ours. I'm sure you'll resolve the matter swiftly. Well, of course. But it had to be done, overseer. I'm not hiding from anything. I mean, maybe I didn't know exactly how much radiation there was. Maybe he could have been saved. But at what cost? I... I admit it has been terribly stressful. My ability to lead the medical team may be compromised. I'll turn myself in for Kellerman. Negligence leading to his death. I'm so sorry, Overseer. I am. Back. Back. <laughs> this guy, the robot's so laggy. Chief Robinson, I'm here to turn myself in for the death of Engineer Kellerman. Well, this is a turn. So, you 
you admit that you could have helped that poor lad, and you didn't. It was gross negligence. The Overseer helped me to see that. I'm ready to pay my debt to society. Off to the lockup with you, then. We'll sort out the length of sentence later. It's always ugly choosing sides, but it's better than letting factions divide the vault. Good work. Oh, that was it? Oh, I thought there was going to be more. Okay. How do I get out of here? It was a school day. It was recess. Two girls walk into a classroom and they smell shit. They think it's this yes, guy called Normando. They call him out for smelling like shit and he's like, I don't smell like shit. Come and sniff me. They went and sniffed and it was him. Then they saw the trails of poop on the floor. Back to the trash can. Simulation space. They walk towards the trash can and the sense, the smell, it lingered into their nostrils. It was the pile of shit inside the trash can. Now, somebody shit inside the, <laughs> the trash can, <laughs> but who was it? Was you? Crash Bandicoot. It was Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 wait, 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 <laughs> Okay, continue. Another story, that same day, three girls were walking to the bathroom. They went and they smelled shit, heavy shit, diarrhea, and they was hearing it come out. They were there outside, trying to vomit, but they couldn't. And they see a girl walk out. They recognize the girl as, let's call her Peach. They all stood in shock. So many stories came out, and then people start coming together the puzzle pieces. And this is how the story goes this one girl was had diarrhea but still went to school. The whole day she was trying to just not shit. <laughs> And then, and then, it was recess and she had to go. She had to go. So she started walking towards the door to go to the bathroom. And she wasn't going to make it. She realized at that moment she wasn't going to make it. She saw the nearest object and it was a trash can. She went, shit in it, and they finished in the bathroom. And that's the story. And that's the real story that happened at my school. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. The closest thing I, I know happened to my elementary school was someone pooped in a urinal. Twice. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, and one of them was during a tornado drill. And my sister's <laughs> class went into that bathroom for the tornado drill. Oh, I miss oh tornado drills. I used to have those, but here in Mexico, they don't have them anymore. They just have earthquakes. I was gonna say, do you guys get them any tornadoes? No, we don't get any. There is a volcano drill. But it's very rare. Yeah. Volcanoes are a bit more serious though. They have the requirements for tornadoes. Yeah, I mean, what do you do in a volcano drill? <laughs> just pretty like, got it the long and get to you. I, I feel like <laughs> praying to Jesus to be part of it. That's like a new going on. You can't really do much about it. Yeah, I mean, the math can only do so much. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. 
But we, I feel so bad for the girl because now everybody knows that she's still going to school. Like, if it was her, I would like leave the planet. <laughs> She marked her territory. <laughs> but yeah, the saddest thing is like the next day the principal came in that classroom and she was like, guys, you have to start using the bathroom. <laughs> She's oh, like, you guys can't be shitty instead of trash kings. <laughs> It was so funny, but so sad. And everybody in my class is still making fun of me. And I feel bad for laughing. Yeah. yeah. I feel for getting into it. I remember in my elementary school, freaking we made fun of a girl because she was fucking taller than the teachers. And she was, we were all like freaking like 10. And we fucking she was already like 6'6. Six, six. And we fucking bullied her for like a good half the year. And the freaking principal That's had to like talk to us. <laughs> you know, like that said it's funny, but that was like in elementary school. This happened like five months ago. <laughs> <laughs> this was in high school. <laughs> yeah, I was in oh, yes. was, like, the latest, like, in this school. <laughs> That, that's like the weird thing about it. Like, yeah, it's a pass if you're in elementary school in kindergarten, but... Hmm. You shit inside this trash can. For once, the rumor mill gets it right. There is a treasure in that vault. All of America's gold reserves. Not as much today, but that's just it. Put aside the base instinct of hoarding wealth. What could we do with a vault full of precious metals? Exactly. No more barter or wild, unregulated proxies. It won't happen overnight, but one day we could have leverage to create a new economy. Property rights, taxes, laws, a government. I doubt it. I think something must have gone wrong. The American government should have come to reclaim the gold. They should be here. But there's no point worrying about all that. We need to get into that vault ourselves, and more importantly, we need help to do it. Fortunately, you just made contact with two large groups of people who both seem to have their own talents. Hmm. 
not my first pick, but it's hard to argue with your point. Do me a favor. Talk to so the we got to talk to the professor about it doing the little challenge they gave me. I think you guys are already done with that. Mm -hmm. What challenge? The reactor thing? Yeah. Yeah, stuff. Yeah, I'm not sure what to do about that. I think I already finished it. Are you on right now, Andy? Uh, it says deliver the holotape to Robinson. Oh, no, yeah, that's from the guys in here. Mm -hmm. So we're here, it's closer. So where are you guys in this quest, by the way? You have to pick up, uh... I finished the challenge. Yeah. I'm following yeah, you, the officer. You need to talk to Professor yeah. Bot now. Yeah, I done that already. Ah, okay. So you're following the officer. Andy, okay. Was he not down here? Oh, there he is. The Vault Dweller from 76. What is so did you guys all do the solution of finding the... Or what solution did you guys do? What do you mean solution? Look, there are three different solutions. Probably could have told one person to stand down in the thing. We could have told the other person to stand down, or we could have given the holotype to the, um... To the um, security bot. Oh, I just told the doctor to come clean. Uh, I just asked for the key and found myself. What do you mean, ask for the key and found yourself? I asked for the key from the doctor and then the thing. Oh, you went into the, radiation, uh, the reactor room and got the recorder? Yep. Yeah, me too. Interesting. Client was obviously paranoid about security. Turns out they 
neither of them killed them, killed the people, Martin. This is about the yeah, treasure, is it? One guy went in, so it's one woman cool went in there to save the other. It's in this and ended up saving the entire vault. You want us to help you get it. Huh. Okay, I'll be right back. My parents wanted for something, but not telling you what it is. Hate that. And all that other money talk the lobbyists on the hill would always yammer about. That's all well and good. But my concern is how that gold can help us right here, right now. How it can help the people of Foundation. <sighs> Look, let's say I believe you. A structure like this, you need some serious equipment to do any demo work. If it was just cutting, lifting, a little mortar work, we got that covered. But that's not what you're asking for. We need to find a weak point in this structure and bust through it. That means drilling into reinforced lead, lined concrete, and steel. You find us something that can do that, we can handle finding the right spot to hit for you. That's, uh, the mining conglomerate, right? Yeah, that might just work. I'll start talking to folks about how we can crack the rest. You keep up your end, we might just be in business.
Looks like your little inoculation worked like a charm. We've established your usefulness, but don't mistake our gratitude for hospitality. Yet here you are. It tells me you're not here just to waste my time. You want something. It must be important, else you wouldn't be barging in here like you run the place. Out with it. Often can't complete the quest. Damn. I knew him. <laughs> That's What's up? Okay, I uh, freaking I was telling my sister about freaking dinner. She was like, nye, nye, and I'm like, Dad's gonna call. And as I say that, he actually calls. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll be back in like two minutes. I gotta go talk to my sister. If I'm not here, I'm probably eating dinner. So, yeah. Still there, Andy? Okay, I'm back. Welcome back. <laughs> yeah. So it looks like we're pretty much. What's up? Apparently, like, uh, what this but... is is like. Uh... <laughs> wait, oh, uh, wait, what part are you at? Because I don't want to spoil something for you. I'm I don't know what talk to the different people about what's happening. I don't know where Andy okay. is. Okay. I don't know okay, if he's that here right now. Okay, that doesn't matter then. So apparently it looks like we're about to raid the fucking vault. Yeah, and we, get, we get to choose who gets to help us with that raid. I would love to get Paige to help us. It is annoying that we have to... Now uh, call me. It's annoying that we have to get both of them to talk, talk to both of them now. Okay, let's get this done. Okay, now <laughs> I have to freaking continue talking to Meg. Yeah. I, I'm not gonna. I have to go eat dinner right now. Oh, that's So sucks. I can't continue right now. Okay, I'll probably end the stream after I'm done talking to Meg. Okie dokie then. If you, uh, well, if you, um, were to choose which person you would want to. Who would you choose to. If you can only choose one person to help you in the raid, who would you choose? I don't know. It's like I want to say raiders because it feels like this is their type of thing. But I feel like the settlers will be more organized about it. I can see that. Yeah. I think I'm going to choose the settlers. I don't know. I just feel like having them. I don't want to have raiders trying to take our gold or anything like that. <laughs> well, if that don't pique my interest, I want nothing control of it. Go on. What exactly, pray tell, is inside this Vault 79? So yeah, gonna eat. I'll be back in a bit.
You playing with me, fool? <laughs> you better out with it before you try my patience. What's in the vault? This is a fascinating turn of events, ain't it? The things I could buy with that gold. You know, I've heard rumors about it round here. Of course, the last sucker who tried to use the location of the trove as a bargaining chip is still dangling from a wire outside as we speak. Liars get wires, you dig? So let's pretend for a moment I don't believe you. What you got to convince me? You ain't wrong. Getting into one of them vaults sure would set us up for a while. Shit. You know I could just kill you and take this, right? You got a lot to learn before you can roll with us, the cut of your jib maybe there is hope for you toss it up on the board and let's see what you got here Appalachia belongs to us and there ain't nobody that can prove me wrong Seems pretty legit. I assume you're coming to me because we got the skills to get into this here vault. But you know, we ain't gonna do this out of the goodness of our hearts, baby doll. Oh no, no. I'm gonna expect a significant cut of the goods inside. So we're gonna have ourselves an agreement here, see? I supply the people power. You supply the location. We all get inside, we nap the goods, you get a nice fair little cut, and we all make out like bandits, you dig? I don't know, 50% of whatever we take in? Now remember who's gonna do all the heavy lifting in there. If the treasure's half as good as you say, it should be more than enough to set you up for life. And if you impress me enough, maybe you get to roll with us. That is... As long as you're cool with people calling you a raider. Yeah? Well, I'd like my mama back from the dead in a world that ain't burn up like a post-nuclear turkey dinner. We don't always get what we want. Look, I know it ain't what you want to hear, but maybe you get a little bonus if you prove you're worth it, all right? So, first things first. We gotta have a plan to crack that big-ass vault door wide open, right? Easy peasy, light and breezy. That's a job for Lucky Lou, our demo expert. If he can't explode it, then it ain't from this earth. Now, uh, Lou can be a real shut-in, on account of his, uh, skin condition. But I trust him more than just about anybody. Why don't you go see him in his room down below? Introduce yourself, fill him in on the plan, then do whatever prep work he needs you to do, you dig? Right on, 7-6. Do your thing. Just try to keep this on the down low, all right? I don't want the entire camp knowing what's going on yet. Only tell who I say to tell, you dig? You come to me all in a hurry. Now you're taking your sweet-ass time hanging around here. I don't get you, 7-6. Okay, then. Oh, uh, and stream there.